All right, we are ready. Finally, right? Finally. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Good morning. It is a beautiful Saturday morning uh, here in Los Angeles. Uh, the skies are gray <laughs> with some flecks of blue. Um, super bright outside. Um, if I'm not being too careful let's uh can you guys hear me all right everything sound good um i'm gonna go ahead and let's uh let's open up our project that we started last week okay we started working on getting this uh getting this character kind of blocked in on my on my personal stream um got a long way to go for this to feel right <laughs> but we're gonna we're gonna do our best Let's go ahead and let's load a spotlight. So we've got our um, our reference in here. Awesome, Taco Lord. Good levels, thank you so much for confirming that. All right, let's go up here to brush, samples, turn off spotlight projection, and we are ready to go. Okay, so a couple of things that I want to do. I wanna make sure that this character feels appealing. And right now, she doesn't i think it might be in part like the face shape i think the face shape the eyes shape um so try to trying to assess kind of what it is that i have here so far the eyes feel a little bit too droopy for what it is that i want to have um might be a little bit too much more too much of a diamond shape maybe i want to get a little bit more of a i don't know it's Let's, let's start playing and pushing things around a little bit and see what we can get. Um, but let's, uh, but yeah, so too much of a diamond shape. I feel like it's not quite right. Um, let's grab. We're gonna wanna, let's, let's grab the, uh, the model here. Let's grab the uh, inside polygroups here. Kind of grow this out some, control A, invert our selection, mask that out, mask that, okay, so just for softening out that mask, right? Let's, um, yeah, let's center this, and just for the sake of making absolutely sure that I don't have this middle line unmasked, I'm gonna say mask, edge loop partial, just to make sure that that's completely masked. Okay, because what I want to do is I want to move things around, and if I move things around and that and that center line is unmasked, it's going to cause problems. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead. Let's start moving things around. So for anybody who's new to my stream, uh, I'm Steven Anderson. Oops. Yeah, let's go ahead and grab this. All right, there we go. That's better. Um, yeah, so I'm Steven Anderson. I am a lead character modeler at Marvel Animation. Uh, working on some cool stuff that I wish I could talk about. Uh, <laughs> and someday I will. Someday I'll be able to. But, uh, yeah. Let me see. I'm trying to think. I've been, uh, been a live streamer for Pixelogic for about about five years now, if I'm not mistaken. See, that eye shape feels a little bit more cat-like, and I like that. It's like before it had like too much of a slant down on the outside, like it was too droopy. But I feel like Something, it needs to be closer together. It's like it's always it's always kind of tricky when an, an eye needs to be like eyes need to be moved closer together because you got to be careful that you uh, <laughs> that you do it right, <laughs> or else it'll uh, yeah that feels a little bit a little bit better. The face shape still isn't great to me, but we'll get there. Um, yeah, I think I've lost track of what I was saying. You're welcome. <laughs> 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 
Let me know what camera angle you guys like better. Um, I usually have this other webcam down here. Okay, so it's like it's looking up at me, so I'm like going up at, my, at the side of my face while I'm working. Um, sorry, looking at the side of my face when I... <laughs> <laughs> but uh you know now it's like a, it's looking more directly at me well you know at a little bit of a down angle but a little bit more directly at me while I'm uh, while I'm working so let me uh, let me know if that works okay I think I've got an idea something I want to try this whole session is going to be kind of around the idea of getting an appealing base mesh um, getting this uh, character's body to feel nice currently this is a little large let's kind of shrink it down some and then these lips need to be worked with some too but let's let's work with it let's get there Whoa, the teeth got super messed up. When did the teeth get messed up? Right then. <laughs> Offer promotion. No. No promotion. <laughs> okay, this is not... Oh, so something interesting. I, well, and granted, there are a couple different things you can do, but my skin material, like recently, I've been, um, I've not been super into the highlight that happens with the skin material. And let's go ahead and let's uh, say fill, fill material. Um, but. One of the things, because one of the things that happens with the with the skin material is that it's almost like the highlight creates this ring of like intense white, and then like a less intense actual highlight. Like the body of the highlight is less intense. So, what I've been doing, or what I did at work the other day, which is kind of nice. I'm oh, sorry, not wax modifiers, skin modifiers, is I played with the specular curve. Um, bring down the intensity of it so that it's not so burned out and it it looks so much nicer um, I can still leave that highlight up some if I want to maybe a little bit but I but the idea is to not have it be such a such an intense highlight that it gets burned out okay so you see that looks that looks much nicer <laughs> okay. I look at the character overall. It looks much, much, much nicer. So what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go ahead and save this material out, and we're going to go into Pixelogic ZBrush 2022. We're gonna go into Z Data. There we go. Materials. I'm gonna go into Startup. And because down here, this is where Skin Shade 4 is. I don't want it to replace Skin Shade 4. I want to make it Skin Shade 5. And now that's just going to be my Skin Shade 5 material. Um, and it'll be in there next time I start up. And I can go ahead and fill in and do all sorts of good things with it later, right? Um, so yeah, let's go ahead. Let's do some stuff. Um, I want to make the mouth bigger. Um, and I might also want to raise the mouth. It feels like it's a little bit low. So let's go ahead and grab this. We'll raise it. I think I need to make that top lip a lot bigger, like fuller, you know? Let's see what we can do here. It's like I want her to be super appealing as a character. And 
so some of the things that I'm trying to think about, some of the things I need to think about, <laughs> we'll say, um, I need to think more about, that's looking better, still has a long way to go, but it look, it's looking better, um, I'm trying to think about shapes and the way that shapes kind of play together. Um, I need to think about the way that shapes contrast against each other for the sake of getting, um, you know, things like straights against curves and, you know, that sort of thing. And I haven't started really diving into that with this particular character yet. Um, I've, I've mostly just started playing with the idea of just getting appealing anatomy in there <laughs> and there's so much left to do to get this to feel right um, I do need her to feel a little bit more full in the cheeks just so that she feels a little bit more alive and youthful and I think one of the things that I'll do is I'll try to add like something of like a of, of a ridge but like a ridge that kind of comes and it just like disappears so it creates uh, something of like a like a graphic shape uh, in the profile, but then it, it it doesn't create like a harsh shadow through here. It just kind of just kind of fades out. So I'm going to do that by coming in here like this. Okay, so we've got this edge isolated. I'm going to start by. Yeah, let's kind of let's kind of mask or uh, pff, spread out our mask, soften our mask. <laughs> Bro, Luigi, how you doing? Hey Ben, how you doing? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Oops. Let's see. Let's get this bit up here. Yeah, I'm getting into it a little bit late this morning but it's okay oh shoot I didn't even uh, I didn't even think about the uh, symmetry going through and ruining my mask uh, I love it when that happens said no one ever okay so I've got this I've got this uh, kind of crease starting here you can see like with it being so close together here this is going to create something of a ridge and then um, and then as it gets further apart it's going to fade out so so let's actually test this out just to be able to see kind of what it is that we're getting yeah so you can see we're getting like this subtle this subtle uh, plane change in here and that's nice Yeah, let's go in here, control H just to bring our mask back. Um, I'm going to want to control the shape of that a little bit better, but you know, it's, it's not too bad. I do want to make sure that this stays in place and that we kind of cozy everything into it. So let's see, we got like, we had some unevenness here with the, with the stuff, so we just kind of shave it down a little bit. Uh, and we can kind of push this in some too. Let's go ahead and kind of unmask that. Yeah, let's kind of soften that some. Just kind of cozy that out, and that should that should help give us a. Oh, that's like way too intense, but I don't know. We might be able to make this work. It's, it's going to be a matter of kind of figuring out where to soften it. So just kind of soften that out a little bit here. That cheekbone's losing some volume right there, so we got to make sure that it doesn't. <laughs> just going to kind of bring some of these forms forward just a little bit. So now we're starting to get a little bit more of like this, uh, like this cheek ridge here. Do you know how to make transpose tool the default one instead of gizmo? 
Uh, default? That's a good question. That's a good question. Um, let me see. Let's go into pre preference. Let's go into transpose. Transpose units, gizmo 3D. You know, I'm not entirely sure. I'm not sure if that's that's a thing that you can do or not. Um, the closest that I can think of is to come over here. You have your, your gizmo turned on. Turn off gizmo so that you're in transpose. And then maybe you can come up here to config and store config. Maybe that'll work. Um, if that doesn't work, you could set up a macro to be able to do that. I'm not very familiar with macros. Um, so it's not something that I'd be able to, that I'd be able to really speak to, but in fact, I can't even remember where the macros are at. Shoot. That makes me feel, that makes me feel, uh, out of touch. There we go. Macro. New macro and being able to, to load things together or whatever. I don't know. Um, oh, that's kind of fun. Different macros that are already created. Instant sub. Ooh, apply round corners to mass. That's interesting. Snap to ground. Ooh. You know what? Purely because I'm interested in seeing how that one works. And I, I suspect that, you know, I understand how it'll work. Because, I mean, you can see there's a little bit of a difference between my floor plane and my actual ground. So let's, let's, let's check this out. Let's see. I almost wonder if it'll go through and do it for every subtool. So let's let's do this. I'm gonna say save. Because I like where I'm at so far. Okay, once that's done saving. Let's go up here to the macro. Let's say snap to ground. Yeah, there we go. Nice. So we gotta move everything else, but you know, at least it <laughs> looks so bizarre. <laughs> Let's go ahead and snap back to this. Let's turn on our everything. Except for the head. And now we want to move this up until it aligns. There we go. So now we have our character and she's definitely on the ground now. That's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. So one of the things that I think I could have done if I, you know, if I'm uh, being completely honest, I probably could have gone into the trans, trans, uh, transpose master and had everything kind of combined together. And I'm used to talking down to this camera. So if I'm talking down here, uh, that's why I'm talking to you. <laughs> um, uh, could have used transpose master probably and and made it snap up and then everything would have been aligned together um, Not a huge deal either way But uh, but Yeah This is kind of fun, but I feel like I'm getting like maybe too high of a cheekbone, so I gotta kind of bring this down. It's kind of work out, smoothing out some of these uh, elements in here. Okay, let's see if we can figure out. I mean, at some point, um, I mean, it'd be cool if I, I probably should have done some, some actual research to get some actual faces to, to emulate for this. <laughs> Let's kind of soften that out just a little bit. I think it's, it's a little bit too hard.
but that's that's working out all right let me see I want to be I want to be careful that she doesn't look so wall-eyed but I also don't want her to be cross-eyed so I'm trying to be careful that it's not like too <laughs> too much toward the center on local symmetry for the eyeballs here. There we go. I'm liking that a little bit better. That's 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 a bit nicer. Okay, I want to work with like the the bridge of the nose area right here. It's like it's not it's not quite pinching enough right in here. So I want to kind of I want to kind of create some sort of like some sort of edge design in here. See what we can make so that it feels a little bit more controlled, designed. Let's grab this. Okay, let's go ahead, turn off the RGB, bring our, our Z intensity pretty, pretty low for the smoothing. feels like it's too much now it's like I, I maybe maybe let's have it be something a little bit more simple kind of like that <laughs> you lost internet <laughs> it's always a pain I hate it when the internet doesn't work Someday, someday I'm sure that it will be so much more rare than it currently is to, to lose the internet. Uh, until that day, <laughs> we'll have to be like freezing like nonstop, right? <laughs> freezing, dropping frames, <sighs> all the things. I kind of want to take this. We're going to bring this forward just a bit. And let's do it with the lower resolution so that way it's a little bit cleaner, a little bit easier to control. So some other things that I want to do is I want to figure out some uh, some hair stuff, like some hair block ends. This is like super, super blue, by the way. I don't know that I want to keep it super blue, but we'll see. <laughs> we'll see what we do. <laughs> um, let's go ahead and go into standard brush, turn off Z-Add. Let's get this to be a little bit less hot pink along that top edge because that's a little bit distracting I feel like that might be a little bit too dark so I'm just going to kind of bring it back just I, I sampled the color kind of between the edges and that'll help me to get a little bit more of a fade. Um, the other thing that I think I'd like to do is maybe add in, or um, maybe not so much add in, because I can't really add in at this point. Um, I mean, it's going to have a lot to do with support edges and the way that support edges play a role in uh, creating color shape. Yeah, 
let's go ahead and use that darker color there just to help create like a balance and a fullness okay I feel like what do you guys think she's loot she has a little too like not enough shoulder or not enough definition to the shoulder maybe hey Saqib how are you doing Let's give her a little bit more trapezius muscle. Let's try to get a little bit more. Um, we got to figure out kind of how we're going to define the transition, the transition between um, deltoid and, and trapezius. So, so what I'm going to do? Let's kind of grab this, pull this down and in a little bit, and we're going to grab this and we're going to pull this over a little bit. Okay, that'll help to define our deltoid muscle a little bit better I don't want it to be like super obvious because I mean she's supposed to be you know alluring and pretty and she's not supposed to be muscular <laughs> so uh, it's a matter of kind of finding balances I do want to define this collarbone quite a bit better though so what we're gonna do we're gonna pull this down 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 Uh, so, started watching this movie the other day uh, about the Brahmastra. <laughs> uh, super fun. Is this is the is I don't know the, the easiest way to put it is it's like this uh, this like an Indian superhero film, um, and I I forget the I forget the 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 terminology for like what's what, but the. Uh, but essentially, like there's this, uh, there's this, uh, there's this. Our main protagonist, uh, Shiva, uh, he's trying to, like, he starts having like these visions, and he can, uh, he can kind of control and not get hurt by fire. Um, he's really kind of a kind of an interesting guy. He's 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 normal. He's a normal guy as far as uh, as far as he knows until all these things start happening to him. Um, but then, yeah, and then, you know, there's like, yeah, I, I feel, I feel like everything that's happened so far in the, in the film has been very, uh, typical, typical Indian cinema as much as, as much as you can kind of imagine. India, India is awesome in the way that they go through and they like, like hyper exaggerate action. Um... <laughs> It's so much fun. <laughs> it is so much fun. Um, yeah, it, uh, I don't know. Has anybody, has anybody out there seen it? I thought it was a lot of fun. Um, in fact, I might have a friend that worked on it, but, but I don't, I don't know. I haven't asked him yet. Uh, if he, if he shows up into the stream, I'll ask him because he shows up every once in a while. He's really nice. He's a really good guy. Be Chad. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, such a fun, <laughs> such a fun, uh, film. I'm going to try something. I feel like the head is too tall. So let's, let's see, let's, let's grab everything that has to do with the face. Oops. And you know what? I might, I might regret doing it that way. Let's do it this way. Oops! Come on, yeah, come on. There we go. Um. Anyway, so Shiva has to go through and kind of save these uh, powerful relics from the bad guys, and <laughs> and uh, bless you. Um, you saw some of them? Yeah, lots of fights, yeah. There is no plan B. AI is not going to take over the industry. Um, and we're not going to jump into that 
topic of conversation because it's a terrible topic of conversation. It gets too many people too riled up. Um, oh, you know what? Let's let's go ahead. Let's do that, and then we can grab that. Um, yeah, it's there's a lot. Oh, that's that's something super different. Holy cow! That changed the face a ton. Look at that. Boom, boom. Okay. So now a couple of things I want to pay attention to. The eyeball itself feels like. Oh shoot. Just messed up the alignment, but that's okay. We'll fix it. Um pull it inward just a little bit. Oh my gosh. Let's turn off that mask before we do anything. How about that? <laughs> it's like, that's the one thing that I meant to do, and then I forgot to do, and then it's like, dang it. Let's fix it. Yeah, so, <clears throat> so the idea, um, AI is not going to go away. Um, uh, that's that's definitely for sure, but there's no need for a plan B. The idea is that when a tool becomes prevalent in the industry, you need to figure out how to adapt to it. The thing that needs to happen though is that AI needs to stop sampling artist work. Um, that's the thing that's happening, and so uh, yeah, narrow escape for that eye <laughs> for sure. <laughs> um, so, um, so yeah, don't be afraid of AI, but definitely be part of the team that's pushing for it to not be stealing artwork, for it to not be stealing, you know, other people's work. If AI is going through and sampling an internal specific database, like if I'm working on a Mickey Mouse cartoon, and I'm using AI to be able to develop a Mickey Mouse cartoon for Disney, then Disney's going to use AI to be able to sample all their Mickey Mouse cartoons, be able to get different iterations of uh, Mickey Mouse shapes uh, that might maybe dip into like, <laughs> maybe it dips over into Marvel Cinematic Universe. Maybe it, uh, uh, maybe it dips into things like, you know, Disney princesses and, and tries to pull different style sensibilities and things like that. Um, but it needs to be based on an internal library. It can't be something that's going through and widely sampling everybody else's artwork because that's, it's theft. It's art theft. So that's, that's the thing that needs to happen. Um, and I know that AI is going to be used in the future for developing different, uh, different tools to, to quicken and make make the mundane tasks of film editing and things like that much quicker um like i heard that there was this uh this tool being developed to be able to do rotoscoping um or to be able to do stereo uh like 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 camera stereo stereo camera um effects and be able to do tracking and things like that uh without having to do the stuff by hand and so, you know, something that would take, you know, three weeks of time can be done in, you know, an hour <laughs> with the with the help of AI. I mean, that's going to to it's going to make the filmmaking process cheaper, and it's going to make it so that we can employ more people and and employ better people and have you know cooler projects and things like that. And so it's tasks like that that are going to get that are definitely going to get. Um, simplified with the aid of AI um, but things such as like replacing concept artists or replacing modelers that's not going to happen um, and I would know because I asked <laughs> so uh, um, yeah it's, it's definitely is definitely something that's worrisome um, for a lot of people for a lot of people but 
I try not to be worrisome as much as I try to be aware. Um, and I also try to just stay on top of my craft, you know? Like, I, I, uh, I'm constantly doing stuff with the ZBrush Live. I'm constantly trying to see, like, the front view looks fun. I like that, but it's not looking great yet with the, with the side view, so I've got to kind of play with this. Um, yeah, it's, it's all just a matter of... Staying in tune. I don't know yet how I feel about how far out that... There we go. I think that feels a little bit better. Like I don't want her chin to be weak, but I don't want it to be too prominent either. So I'm trying to find a balance there. And it might be in part like the way that these uh, section of the cheek here kind of flows out. Yeah, there's there's a lot to talk about in relation to that stuff. <laughs> hey guys, yeah. A fast AI retopology solution. There are already AI retopology solutions. We have Z-Remesher, we have uh, stuff like that. But uh, hey beast. <laughs> Her skull's looking weird. Yeah, I mean, it's it's something that's going to get covered up by hair anyway, but it's uh, it's something that needs some work. Um, just to have a good foundation. Yeah, it's... There's going to be a lot of back and forth, but it's all right. It's getting somewhere. Let's maybe get a little bit up, a little bit down. It's looking better. Um... I think one of the things that's kind of, I mean, it's like I, I like how it looks from the front, but I almost wonder let's try something like this. I don't want to modify the rest of the body, so let's, uh, let's do something like this. Oops. Oh, shoot. Shoot! <laughs> ah, I hate it when that happens. Like, undoing after a transpose, like a mass transpose like that, drives me nuts. Oh my goodness. Now let's check and see, make sure that the mouth parts are alright. Yeah, they're alright. You know, let's do something kind of like... Kind of like this. Technically, I think this should be kind of a little bit more narrow at the front than it is at the back. I'm liking that. Now I need to try to decide if like the proportions of like the head to the body are all right, or if because like right now they feel kind of like idealistic if we if we're if we're going that route. So if we look at like <clears throat> um like Greek statues have a little bit of an idealized sort of proportion where it's like an eight head sort of measurement. Um, and then like superheroes will have like a, like a nine head <laughs> sort of measurement. So if we look at this and the way that, that she's measuring out, let's just kind of put her up here, something like this. And we'll say shift S and we'll say shift S, shift S. And that's kind of...
Shift this. I mean, she's getting lost in herself, but she's like, let me see. That's that's five heads so far. <laughs> that's seven. So yeah, about nine about nine heads tall. That's that was like a really weird way to <laughs> compare that. <laughs> you and centipede. <laughs> Oh, good. I'm glad you're liking the music. I had to go through and I had to do so much to find good music uh, or like a way to figure out getting the music to work. <clears throat> um, yeah, because like I had I had, I had used Pretzel Rock before, um, but I hadn't like I, I hadn't gotten it to. Uh, work in a non copyright sort of way um, and, th and so that was something that I that I wanted to work out so that I could have a little bit nicer of uh, an ambiance with the streams let's give her a little bit more work with the toes so that the toes feel like they're kind of touching the ground big toe not really the front toe don't want to make the toe feel a little too important you know <laughs> I am going to have her in some sort of heel I don't know that I'll use that exact heel to be able to figure this out um, and then I also want to try to figure out some shape language for for these things, for these little toes here. Um, because one of the things that happens is that they start to feel a little too simple, a little too, yeah, just simple. I'll just say simple. Um, and you see like it's a little bit too round. So I just want to kind of square off the tips That'll help it to feel one a bit more natural, but two a bit more designed and controlled. And that's what we want. We want it to feel designed and controlled. We want it to feel intentional. Okay. Because like I, I do want these to have like an open toed shoe as opposed to the concept that has a closed toed shoe because i think that'd be cool right you know <clears throat> the good old move all nonsense <laughs> i don't know if i'd say good all but the good old uh <laughs> it is what it is <laughs> it's a member of the family now <laughs> <laughs> Let's go ahead and kind of pull down the uh, sides of the toe. Okay. Let's go ahead and grab this corner and kind of pull it back a little bit. Pull this forward a little bit. It's feeling a lot better. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and isolate the foot so I don't have to worry about, oh, it's like so much more than just a foot. Here, control W, so that way we have just the lower leg. <laughs> control I, <laughs> get rid of the eyes. Um, let's see, let's get these. Oh, 
Hello. Let me see. This little piggy gets the move tool. <laughs> yep. <laughs> That's funny. I'm thinking that like once I get my base model all done, I'll go ahead and I will uh, I'll make my make the character available for sale as a base mesh. Um, that way people can go ahead and they can see it, learn from it, whatever whatever they like, um, non-commercial like anyway, right? <laughs> shape in here to work out see a lot of it has to do with just like getting the taper at the back and then getting kind of like this gentle feed into this square shape in the front um, and that seems to be in my in my experience what helps these toenails to really feel right um, Gotta get it so that's the right tilt too. So get, that's why I gotta check things from all sorts of different angles. That's why a lot of people are like, oh, let's just rotate around the model for six hours and call it a work day. <laughs> it's like, you gotta do more than that. But it's, uh, there is a lot of rotating around the model to make sure that things look right. Okay, so those toes look much more controlled now. Um, Rotating the model is honest word. <laughs> Let me see. Yeah, yeah, Doug. I I totally agree. I I I feel like it's important to move around because you get more of an idea based on the context. I want to make error. Do I want to make? I don't know. Let's, let's see. Let's let's save this so that we don't lose it. Um, there are some things I want to do to the hands to make them feel a little bit more naturalistic. Uh, as right now they're a little too simple. And then uh, we might also do some some work with the stomach. Uh, the legs might be in a good place, but we'll uh, I don't know. We'll know a little bit more later on. I think. But yeah, so you can see like the hands, same thing. We're getting too, too round, <laughs> toology. <laughs> yes, toe theory is a real thing. <laughs> I still have water left over from yesterday and it's still super cold. I like this bottle, I mean, it's, it's, it's huge and it's like not the easiest to like hold and use, but it's nice. And it keeps everything nice and cold. Grab myself some chili spice mangoes. I don't know if you guys are into chili spice mangoes, but uh, super, super amazing. snacks do you guys like to have when you're working you know what let's do it like this I had like early on when I first started up at Marvel had this sort of uh, this sort of task in stylizing, um, stylizing my base mesh so that it was ready to go 
to create my characters, and this is one of the things that I that I did to be able to get the to get the fingernail shape to be right. So I would kind of mask out the corners, get those to be pulled out just right. One of the things I want to do is I want these fingers to feel very. I want them to feel very like long and feminine. Doritos. Doritos sound very good. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and select that, and then select that. Control A, Control Shift A, and we can just kind of. I can use the uh, the move infinite depth too, and just kind of boom. So that way I don't have to worry about losing any bit of the finger. Boom. And then I'll come back and I'll kind of tweak the rest of the finger here in a minute. But, oops. Oops, come on. Keep hitting that, um, that Z, that Z key instead of the A key, and I'm just like, uh Like, don't do this to me. <laughs> All right, start to kind of fix the shape of these nails. This is why we check things from different angles, right? <laughs> Just kind of maybe like softly soften it. It's like the, uh, the the fingernail side is going to be what's creating that graphic element, that uh, that shape, that square, square shape. Or at least on the tip, anyway. Because um, then it's going to be kind of round here toward the back. I don't know that I want it to be too square, though. Let's see, because that's, that's expanding out quite a bit. That's becoming really sharp. Goes back to that Doritos, uh, <laughs> <coughs> that Doritos motif. Don't want it to be too square. <laughs> you see, I'm losing track of uh, chat here. Let me see. Pistachio and pecans because my macaw mellows in my studio and shares. <laughs> nice. I don't know that I could handle having a bird that large. Uh, what is the polygon count standard of a base mesh model for animation? Ooh, that depends. Um, oh, let me see. If a subtool is not at the center of the world axis and you need to mirror sub. Uh, subtool it. How can you put it at the center axis before you mirror it? Um, so the easiest thing, as a, thanks for bringing my attention to that, Doug. Uh, yeah. So the easiest thing that I can think of. Oh, sorry, not underneath subtool. Uh, it's underneath uh, geometry position. There's this X position right here, uh, and you can see right now it's saying zero, which means that it's it's symmetrical. It's placed directly over that. Um, directly over that center point. You can see this, the, the way that that's lined up with that center edge. Um, so that would be the first thing that I would do. Um, if, let me see. I 
I mean, just real quick, I guess I could I could go through and show. Uh, I don't want to show though, because that's that's gonna take a lot a lot of work, and there's a lot of stuff that could potentially get vertex welded through there. Um, let me see. I mean, that's that's going to be the first thing is making sure that that's centered, and then you can take it out of symmetry. So X mask half of it. So mask half of it, including the center line, and then you come down here to uh, deformation, and then there's this uh, smart resim. And what that's going to do is it's going to assess the model based on that based on that origin line, and it's going to. Uh, sorry, I'm like talking to the wrong camera again. Talk up here. <laughs> I need to put like a little post-it note that says "talk to me up here." Um, I'm gonna do it. <laughs> says I'm up here <laughs> there we go nice let me see um yeah and then you that smart resim it's going to go through and it's going to assess <clears throat> the symmetry of the topology and then it's going to go ahead and um, try to make sure that things match. Um, it's it's not always absolutely perfect, but it's a pretty stinking good tool, and it does a really nice job. Um, I can't tell you how many times it has saved my butt. <laughs> it's a lot. <laughs> turn symmetry back on <laughs> yeah the important thing is making sure that you turn symmetry back uh, turning turn symmetry off to restore symmetry um, and then turn it back on <laughs> when you're ready to start working again because <laughs> otherwise you're shot it's totally just a pain to try to go through and re re-bring back symmetry after you just brought it back like good golly I never recommend him a cause a pet though she is an awesome member of the family member 30 years they require lots of work I bet you've had her around for 30 years Wow <laughs> oh, thank you. Yeah, that ornament was super cool. We got some other pictures too. Um, I'm intending to do a post on that soon. Um, yeah, my wife was kind enough to take some photos of it for me with the nice camera. <laughs> Maybe a new question. But how do you hide those loops to mask them so easily? Yeah, I do that with the select lasso. And then you just you just click on an edge, uh, and that, that one it, go, it went through and it kind of selected weird. Um, sometimes sometimes symmetry is a little bit off. So I think what we might need to do, yeah. So anyway, I just I just hide one, hide the next one down, Control A. Uh, right there, I mean, it seems like something, something, something is off with my symmetry. So it's, it could be worthwhile for me to try to go through and restore my symmetry. Uh, 
Uh oh. What happened to her lips? Yeah, let's just let's just grab this smooth and turn on the uh, the color. Oops, not damn standard. I'm just going to kind of brush in this color to kind of trim up the shape a little bit. And then we'll go in here and we'll just kind of select the poly group. And then kind of paint it in around the edge to get a nice sharper shape. It's like I feel like, okay, so looking at this up here, like this shape feels a little wobbly. You see like it's like it comes up and then it kind of goes out and then it goes back in. That's that's really kind of a weird flow. So what we're gonna do, let's kind of change this back to Z-Add. I don't want that to come out over here. That feels That feels a little bit better. A little bit. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's always a matter of like kind of checking these sorts of little things. I'm seeing like a little bit of a dip right here. And and the things that I try to look for in order to judge the, uh, the volume are like the highlights. Uh, you can see there's like a little bit of like this shadow shape right here. And there's like a highlight shape right here. That means that I've got like some inconsistencies with the uh, with the flow of the cheek. So you know, I try looking at it from different angles. You can see it's it's kind of coming out a little bit here. Uh, there we go. That's a little bit better. Oh, that's better. Ah, it's a lot better. Okay, let's do some block-in stuff to get some other stuff worked out for her so that she's not just, you know, <laughs> not by her self. <laughs> Say no to AI, yeah. <clears throat> I mean, I, I went ahead and had a had a spiel about that earlier. <laughs> so if you want, you can rewind <laughs> and check it out. Um, I feel like I feel like my views on AI are very sound. Uh, I don't want anybody sampling my art. Um, art theft is not the way. It's not the answer. Um, however, the tool is not going to go away. It's going to keep developing. Um, so it's a matter of when it becomes a tool, you know, that we learn how to adapt with it, um, instead of being squished and trampled out by it. Um, but again, there's like this, this huge, <laughs> humans are just AI with flesh, blood, and drama. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, flesh. <laughs> Speaking of flesh, we're showing a lot of flesh here. So let's go ahead, let's add. Okay, I'm just I'm gonna have her at her highest subdivision level. I'm going to go up to, oh, we have some extra things in here. I, I didn't, I had totally forgotten we had things in here. Yeah, it's like we, we have her Sailor Moon hair from before. Uh, let's get rid of this. Let's say delete all. Um, you know what? kind of bring this in and just see what it looks like if we have just something stand in for hair. <laughs> That's ridiculous. <laughs> we'll go ahead, we'll get rid of some of these other things. Del 
delete, delete, delete. We don't need the ponytails either. Just hit delete. So yeah, now she's got like this short hair do. And so maybe what we can do is we can kind of add in like some sort of top bun or something. I don't know. Uh, I don't really like the, the hair color at the moment, but I don't know. We'll see. something more like this color fill object I like that color I think that'll work really nicely for for this character depending on how the rest of her goes we'll see eyebrows no more yeah the eyebrows are covered up <laughs> zebras 2021 at the bottom oh you're right man I'll have to fix that up I will have to fix that up and before too long it'll be zebras 2023 so you know we'll have to do that too when that comes up okay so that's gonna be our stand in hair we're going to grab <laughs> booty shorts okay yeah look at all that the, the clothing no longer fits uh, because we've made so many changes to the body and the body proportions and all that yeah let's 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 get rid of some things that we don't need anymore so let's grab delete the choker let's get rid of that delete 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 I know this is kind of a slow process but it's like I'm trying to make sure that I am getting what I need out of this the shirt I'll keep the shirt actually Boots, 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 bow. I can get rid of the bow. Um, I might keep the bow, actually. The bow, the bow could be a good thing to keep around. These shorts. Do they fit? Yeah, they still kind of fit. They need to be adjusted, but they, they still kind of fit. Make sure symmetry is turned on. Adjust them to fit. Okay, so right now, one of the things that we need, okay, so I can just go ahead and grab this and select the color from in there. I don't want it to be black. I want it to be something off black. So we'll just go ahead and say color fill object. Let's see where she's poking through. Granted, these are not going to end up being shorts. They're going to end up being something more like. Yeah, let's go ahead and let's delete the upper subdivision levels. Um, they need to be something more like. Um, like Spanx or something like that. So we gotta figure that out. W so that that's its own thing there uh, for this shirt we're not going to worry about having a shirt because she's going to have her little uh, bra thing there so I'm just going to actually oops let's make sure this is centered I'm just going to make sure that's kind of inside of her body because then what I can do is I can use my topology brush. I don't need to, I don't need to use this for long, but I do need to use it long enough to be able to get something like the basic cup. Oops. Let's go ahead and get something like that, 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 that. something like that and if it'll let me commit there we go so now we have kind of like our basic model for that and we can just go ahead and say there's the shirt there's the 
the bustier. <laughs> Boosty caca is a bra. <laughs> Still my favorite line from the Selena movie. <laughs> okay. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna get rid of all the creasing. I'm gonna say uncrease all. track of what you're making today I'm working on a collaboration piece and granted this this hair is super blocking so don't don't uh, <laughs> I mean, it doesn't look bad it just it's just not the final hair by any stretch of the imagination um, yeah I, I kind of want to do like a Marilyn sort of sort of hairstyle we'll have to see what we do though um, so this is a this is a photograph from, um, oh my goodness, why am I blanking on her name? Caitlin Wing. <laughs> um, yeah. So Caitlin Wing. So she she she's a photographer here in LA, um, and she does these these collaborations with artists from all over the world. And she's the one that did this. Uh, took this photograph. Uh, she said, you know, it'd be cool to to see your take on you know translating this into your style. So so that's kind of what we're uh, what we're working on here. Um, Like, I don't know, there's so much that I'm trying to uh, play with here. Um, which is fine. I mean, that's that's totally why, why we're here. <laughs> kind of want to give a little bit more of an arch to her eyelid. It's because I feel like that's a that's kind of a kind of an attractive feature having that um, that shape in there. It's kind of nice. I feel like it helps to to complement the character a little bit better. It creates a little bit more motion, a little bit more of a full complete shape in there. <coughs> so that'll be nice. Okay, let's get back down here. Let's keep working on getting this to work right. Okay. So what we want to do is I want to have these be two individual cups. So we're going to start off by inserting an edge loop there and splitting it up. Okay, so now we have these you know, two half shells. Let's go ahead and do something like this. I'm going to say with the move function. I'm going to say snap to surface so that way I can move this around and have it be part of uh, like like conforming to that surface. Makes everything so much easier. <laughs> and then I want to try to, to uh, look at what's happening with the topology of the forms underneath. Um, so that way it's, it gives me a little bit of an idea as to where these uh, points ought to go. Okay, I'm going to now go ahead and say extrude. I'm gonna hit Alt real quick to be able to pull out that whole thing. Move, snap to surface, snap to surface, snap to surface. With the extrude, something that I didn't do is set it to snap to surface as well. Uh, now that now that I have snap to surface turned on, it'll snap to the surface <laughs> conveniently enough. <laughs> okay. Now with the uh, with the outside, we're gonna do something kind of similar with the that we did with the uh, with the first side. We're just going to bring it out, hit Alt, so that we're getting that full uh, section there. 
straighten that out. So that way we're getting that full cup. Yeah, I love building out clothing. It's just a it's just a fun task. It's challenging, but it's fun. <clears throat> okay, so what I want to do is start inserting some edge loops so that we can get some better um, conformity to the to the surface. One thing to kind of keep in mind is that this is not going to be perfectly symmetrical. Um, we're going to need to mirror and weld a few times to make sure that we're, you know, getting the mesh that we want out of it. Okay, let's go ahead and kind of scoot this over just a tad. Just trying to get like an even spacing between oops, between things. Like the nice thing is that it's going to it's going to snap those points to the surface as I yeah, let's go ahead and make that so it's it's high res self because I don't really need to see the flow of the topology of of the body anymore I can I can use it just as a form to snap things to now and it's working out all right. Do this as well, load space mesh, scroll down, 10 different outfits from different sculpts. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> yeah, I was uh, checking for a sneak peek on ZBrush 2023 a while ago. Yeah, yeah, that was really cool. Um, I always turn off the do not show this warning again dialogue when I start deleting things and sure enough, I go too fast and delete something that I wouldn't have, <laughs> yep. <laughs> When you do the spotlight painting, uh, do you have a high value of subdivision level for that subtool? I actually, I very rarely use, yeah, let's close that. I very rarely use uh, spotlight for any kind of painting. Um, I will use it from time to time, but it's not a, it's not something that I use really for texturing. Um, most of the time, if I if I want to paint something for texturing, you know, I'll I'll go ahead and I'll just paint it. Um, <clears throat> you know, changing up my standard brush and you know making something that works nicely. Ah, oh, that wasn't the side that I wanted to mirror. So let's see. Let's come down here. Deformation, mirror, back up, mirror and weld. So yeah, it's, that's now I now I know that I need to be working on this side, not on the other side. <laughs> but uh, it's all part of the game, right? Okay, let's kind of cozy these out some. So that's kind of working. Uh, one thing that I'm noticing is that I'm getting kind of the wrong shape. Like it's coming out a little bit too far. So it might be something that I need to go ahead and kind of rein in a little bit here. Let's get a little bit more of that. Okay, let's see. I'm going to have to kind of reshape the breast too, I think. Which is fine. You know, it's just part of the process is, you know, discovery and reshaping and happens all the time. Let me see, it's 11.30. I'm going to say, let's, let's go ahead, let's try to finish getting this 
some of this stuff put together. Like the clothes, let's try to get like the clothes finished up and then, um, and then we'll call it a day. So we can go about having a, a Saturday. kind of I do kind of want to make sure that they're feeling the right shape right now it feels like they're kind of going out a little bit too much let's play with that a little bit see what we can get Oh, I see what I did. <laughs> I like it didn't do anything. <laughs> yeah, let's change that offset to zero. Let's say let's get like a couple of subdivisions in there or something. Maybe just one, just for the sake of like making it look smooth. Um, and then I want the shape to feel round. Like I want it to feel like it's got a good, a good curve on top and a good, a good, a good curve on the bottom. <laughs> Let me see. Senior 3D printed skull placed over dollar. I'm not sure what the question is. Uh, senior 3D printed skull placed over dollar. I'm trying to look at my background, see like what skull. Um... <laughs> I mean, I do have a skull that's 3D printed. Ta -da. It's one that I that I sculpted myself, like forever ago <laughs> it's kind of hard to see dang it yeah, let me see um is he gonna focus there we go this is the small one. Oh, come on you it's super teeny it's not it's not super working great but it's uh it is what it is right um, <clears throat> let me see. <laughs> cool. Okay, let's see if we can get the... Yeah, in fact, I actually did a... Uh... Or I guess, not that I did, I started doing... <laughs> Uh, a fun little sculpt of you guys remember Dustin from uh, from Stranger Things um, so I had a bigger skull let me see yeah Ant-Man skull <laughs> I had a bigger skull but it fell and broke and so um, it lost a couple it lost its jaw and it lost a couple of teeth so I went ahead and I gave it and it doesn't want to focus on this, does it? Um, I went ahead and forced it to focus. Um, I went ahead and gave him hair and a hat <laughs> so that he's like Dustin from Stranger Things. Uh, you see he's missing those front teeth. His, uh, his pearly whites are missing there. Um, thought about going through and maybe doing like some uh, like molding cast this. <laughs> Just as like a fun thing, um, yeah. I have fun. I have fun. It is what it is, right? <laughs> hmm. 
that's getting a good shape down here. I don't want to be getting that weird dip right there. Okay. Cool. So we're getting this so far. The other thing that I want to do, I want to say Control Shift D Let's make sure that we have just that lower band. I'm going to use this lower band to create the under, like the underwire section. Um, let's say delete hidden. This is going to have to come. Let's say stitch to midpoint. Shoot. Shoot. Stab it. Here I'm going to say display properties. It'll hit double just for the sake of being able to see stuff. Okay. So now we'll go ahead and we'll say move. Kind of make sure that things are lining up a bit more better. Pull that out a little bit so that it lines up with that. <clears throat> okay, so now for the rest of this. It's so funny, it's like, I don't know if you guys have like a default side that you like to work on. Uh, for me, for me, it's like, it's this, it's, it's screen right side. Um, sometimes the character like, likes to change <laughs> what direction they are facing and it drives me nuts. Um, but still I, I like, I tend to default to screen right side um, I guess just to me it's a more natural side to look at the character from so I don't know it's kind of an interesting uh, interesting point of view do you guys have a, a specific side of the character you prefer to, to work on when you're working on a character It doesn't matter which side it is, it's always a side that it doesn't want to recognize from Mirren well. That's absolutely right. <laughs> right side too, when playing fighting games, I like the left side. That's funny. Ugh, get my leg up into that chair. Okay, kind of pull that up, pull this up, pull this up. So, at this point, maybe, let's see, let's say delete, oops, 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 oops. I'm gonna add in an extra loop here. What this is going to allow me to do, let's add in an extra loop here as well. Let's go ahead and say bridge edges. I'm going to bridge these two together 
we'll say <laughs> deformation mirror <laughs> geometry mirror and weld um, just because we know how they we know how it works uh, let's add in an extra loop down here or actually we might not have to here let's actually do this let's go bridge edges so now we got one two three and four okay really nice very nice and we just kind of smooth this out um, so now this bit down here can get that treatment of you know getting the getting the the whoosh that we're getting down here and then um, we can get some of this kind of evened out make it feel like it's nice one of the things that we're running into though is that we're losing some of the some of the shape like it's not it's not holding that bottom line so we can do one of two things um, either we can uh, either we can add in a support edge hey Marlon how you doing <laughs> Uh, either we can add a support edge, which uh, may be a good option, or we can just like crease, decrease poly groups, and uh, and get some of the get some stuff out of that. Just get some really simple control. I feel like I'm getting kind of the wrong shape here, so it's a little bit of tweaking, but it's not too bad. Okay. <clears throat> <clears throat> Let's do this. I'm gonna say crease. I'm gonna say crease PG. So that way we get this nice full shape and they're not losing any volume. Uh, same thing here. Let's go ahead and control W just to make sure that that's all one group. I'm gonna say crease PG so that keeps its whole full shape. So there we go. Now we're now we've got kind of the base for our bra here. Let's go ahead and see if we can pick a good color from it. We'll say MRGB. Let's see if we can get like the satin or there's the reflected plastic. Let's see. Let's do soft plastic. That might be the right, that might be the right feel for it. Do something like this. We'll have to adjust it again later as we uh, as we start to decide about like final final shaping for things. And it's not quite saturated enough. That's a little bit better. Let's do something like that. Not gonna lie, I'm 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 liking the hair color. I'm not liking the way that the hair looks, so it's it's kind of distracting to me. <laughs> so yeah, with with this piece down here, it's going to need to be a very different shape. Um, is pretty nice okay here's what I'm gonna do I'm going to get rid of these shorts because I, I don't feel like I don't feel like this is working shape wise so what I want to do I'm going to grab grab up to here oh I forgot to duplicate control shift D let's go ahead and duplicate let's um, let's get rid of all these other body bits 
And we're going to use <clears throat> that polygroup as a starting place. Okay. Because uh, that's going to follow the shape much more closely. Let's go ahead, geometry, uh, delete higher, modify topology, delete hidden. Okay, so we've got this sort of thing going on here. We need for... Oh. I'm gonna grab this, grab that. Same thing on the back, let's go ahead and delete those two. In fact, let's delete that one too. Delete that one too. Let's say slide. And something I need to plan out is like I feel like I feel like this would have some sort of almost like a like a of a rounder edge going up over over here so let's let's go ahead and see if we can work that sort of thing out um, I don't really technically need delete a poly delete hidden In fact, let's see, let's see what else we can get rid of down here. It's like I want this to feel like it's fitting the shape and not feeling too like I mean this is this is weird how it's going down the leg. Um, so we're gonna have to work out some of the anatomy shape and everything too, but it's going to it'll be fine. It'll be fine, we'll work it out. Let's see. Pull it out to about right there, maybe. <clears throat> I mean, there'll be some uh, some shape things we need to work out for sure, but it's like you know, it's one of those things that it's kind of trying to block some things in. Um, let me see, 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 let me see. Maybe it's just a matter of going through and just deleting all of this too, for the sake of simplicity. Um, and then what we can do. Like I'm trying to, I'm trying to prep this piece so that we have, and let's get rid of the belly button bit here too. Um, yeah, I'm trying to, I'm trying to prep it so that it's um, ready to receive the uh, the loops going up over the hips. Um, I feel like this is probably a good a good height for what I feel like I want to get out of it. Um, so let's let's do this. Let's let's go ahead and say extrude edge. Let's pull this out. <laughs> Again, there I go working on that same side of the character. Um, <clears throat> at what point I'm going to have it transition away from the hip here. So this is going to be kind of coming out over here this way. Say let's delete this, 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 and this. Slide that over. Slide that out this way. Yeah, let's change this to move so we're getting a nice bit here. And I'm I'm going to I'm I'm gonna play like with longer polys. Okay, uh, just for the sake of being able to make it a little bit quicker, and to be able to make it so that the arcs are a little bit smoother too. Um, it's a little bit easier to control when there are fewer points to control, right? So you know, make it nice. Okay, so we got this sort of thing going on. This loop 
is intended to go up to here so long as we have the same number of loops on each side. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, let's just get rid of one. We don't need, we don't need all of these. Insert. Yeah, let's go ahead and kind of get rid of these two here. Pull this one over a little bit too. <clears throat> okay, so now we got the same number on each side. That's good. That's good. Okay. <clears throat> so let's see. Let's do this. Let's go. So we're going to get this sort of thing, say extrude. Pull that out, extrude, pull that out. So that's nice, I'm gonna meet in the middle somewhere. <coughs> we might have to have like two of these, but it's it, it'll be it'll be fine. So we'll go ahead and pull that up, pull this up, pull this up. Pull this up. Okay, it's looking all right. Just gonna pull these so that they snap together. Pull this up some so that it's more kind of in the middle-ish. So I want to I want to kind of mirror what's happening on this side. Let me let me see if I can get into a better view here. Let's kind of lock it so we're not moved moving around on accident. <clears throat> this should go into here if we're doing kind of mirrored sort of uh, sort of stuff there. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. I got this, I got this, I got this, I got this. We're going to go insert one, two, three, one, two, three, and we're just gonna bridge this and then we're going to smooth it. This should be good enough for what we need. once we smooth it it'll it'll even out all these polygons and it should make it so that it works nicely for us oh yeah I locked the camera <laughs> yeah because like that's that's that looks nice that's that's working the, the only thing that I need to work out now is getting uh, getting the anatomy down here kind of worked out so that there's enough of a enough of an indentation in here at the top of the legs so that this can kind of fit in so we can we can kind of block this in a little bit by pulling that. in a little bit and just kind of pull out some in the opposite direction because we gotta we gotta make sure that there's enough of the anatomy there that we can form things properly Let's get this to be the right color too. Uh, what did we have? We had we had like this super dark purple here. MRGB color fill object, something like that. Uh, we're missing some polygons here. We'll have to fix that. Yeah, 
let's do this. Say extrude. Hit Alt so that it brings out two at the same time. Okay. First things first, I'll eat your brains. Mirror and weld. Oh, shoot. What did it do? And then... Stop it. Okay. So here's something that I want to do. I want to go ahead... Oh, let's uh, let's grab this front edge here. I don't like how it's going up. Uh, I do want, actually, instead of bringing that down, let's bring the rest of this up to kind of meet it. I do like kind of, I think it's called an empire weight. No, not an empire waist. What's that called? I forget. I don't know. I, I don't I don't deal in women's underwear, so it's like knowing what this is actually called. I forget. <laughs> going kind of pull this down a little bit so we have a better like a more even spacing of these uh, these polygons here need this to kind of pull down some check it from different angles <coughs> We gotta get the back kind of modeled into. Yeah, so at what point do we wanna break this? Um, let's say this one. So let's delete this. We'll grab this point. Oop, not control one, I want to control T so we can see through it. Yeah, let's get that mirror and weld going. All right. You know the drill. Let's bring this out. Bring this out. Snap it down and in. Okay. <laughs> Bonjour. <laughs> hey, Leonard. This is heresy. Z gods gave us extract and Z remesher for this very reason. <laughs> That's true. But I don't, I don't ever get the exact uh, control over it that I want, right? You know, I, I want to have control over what it is that I'm doing. Um, so yeah, that's kind of the, that's kind of the idea there. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and let's insert a couple of loops here. So yeah, just for anybody who's uh, who's just now joining the stream, um, this is a project that I started in my personal stream last week sometime, I think. Um, sometime in the last week. Um, and uh, she's been a fun one to start. I'll show you the I'll show you the face here in just a second because she's she's been kind of a fun one to to work out. Um I started from my Sailor Moon base, which let me pull up this uh, this this image. This was a fun uh, a fun project to to pull. Um, I over the last couple of weeks, I tried to go through and finish out my Sailor Moon, um, my Sailor Moon redraw <laughs> um, piece uh, that I started last year as part of the redraw Sailor Moon challenge. Uh, this. Is how she ended up <laughs> she's not completely finished right uh, there's still some surfacing work I need to do on her um, I might do some x-gen hair um, which would be really fun I've 
I've only done X Gen like once before, and uh, you know, doing some real hair would be just stellar. It'd be super, super fun. So, so yeah, that's, that's, this is where she ended up. This is the same character base, the same body that I used on Sailor Moon that I'm using on this character here. So I, I went through, I've reposed her, I've, uh... Yeah, there's still something just odd about that face to me, and I think it's just that the eyes are too up, up, you know? I think, I, I think that maybe it's just a matter of them needing to come down, but... I don't know. I can like I want it I want to push the stylization. So if it if it works when she has hair, then we'll call it good. Um, yeah, I got to keep moving around this cuz I feel like it's a little bit too Let's kind of pull this up. get like maybe a bit more softness to the uh, under underneath the chin a little bit softness to the chin kind of control where where the uh, where the volumes at here I'll be I'll be going back and forth at this so much so it's like uh, you'll see you'll see me hit this probably a dozen more times <laughs> as you do right anyway okay back to the butt cheeks <laughs> okay let's grab this we got to cover her up some more yeah, sculpted hair definitely looks super cool and stylized. It's just one of those things, though, that it gets like I mean, and, I, and granted, you know, don't get me wrong, I super love how this looks. I think this is super super neat. I do need to tweak some settings for the ponytails because the ponytails are much softer or uh, thinner than the uh, than the chunks up here on the on the rest of the head, so they're taking the light differently. So I'll need to like, go through and, and duplicate out the material and and uh, kind of make some modifications to it, but but that'll be something that I can go through and play with some. Um, we'll see how that goes. But yeah, that was rendered in, in Arnold for Maya um, last night as part of my class. So, let me see. I want to insert an edge right here. And I think this edge is the one I want to have going up to this corner. So I'm going to actually move this one down a little bit. Let's kind of get rid of that one and kind of space it out a little bit more. Okay, so here's what we want to do. Control T. Let's kind of move these points so that they snap to that surface a little bit better. Okay. With these, I mean, it might be worthwhile for me to just go ahead and kind of down res some. Eh, maybe not, I won't worry about it. It's not a big deal. Okay, so here we go. We got... Let's kind of scoop this over just a little bit. Okay, let's say extrude. Pull that out. Pull this back. And we're going to essentially end up with the same thing, right? Um, okay, let's go ahead and say insert single edge loop. Let's say bridge edges, just so we can see that this is kind of a thing here. Um, let's pull this back, let's pull this back, insert. Okay, so now we've got our little uh, our little buddy here. We can kind of pull out. Music's kind of skippy. I like it. I like it. Okay, kind of 
merge that in, connect that over here. Okay, so now that I've got, oops, let's get rid of the, the delete. Let's say do nothing on the faces. Don't do anything to the face. <laughs> Let me see. Yeah, it's kind of a similar sort of sort of uh, vibe to those sorts of uh, Prince of Egypt characters, and I I love I love those characters so so much. But it's a it's kind of a tricky uh, aesthetic to deal with in 3D. Works really well in 2D. It's harder to deal with in 3D. Um, I must have total control. I shall build undergarments with stitching. Oh no, everyone is gonna see it because it's going to be, you know, this is the pose, this is the this is the character, so it's yeah, typically typically I wouldn't even build undergarments. <laughs> um like for work and you know, none of that's ever going to be seen, so it's like there's no point of even building it. So anything that's not going to be built, I don't worry about. <laughs> I just don't worry about it. Go ahead and bridge those two together. Let's see. How many do we have up top? We have one, two, three. Two, three, something like that. Let's go ahead and say bridge. Yeah, it's like like some of these uh, some of these points are things that it's like you get to a point where you just start having to think <laughs> a little bit more, <laughs> which is fine. I enjoy thinking means I'm alive. Okay, so let me see. I'm going to want to insert another loop in here. Kind of get that so that that bridges together. Okay, let's let's just let's just do it now so we don't have to worry about bookmarking ideas in our head. Um, one, two, three. So we need another edge loop in here. Insert. Just kind of scoot that one over a little bit. Bridge edges. Two, three. Boom. Okay. And then we'll insert single edge loop. We'll go back. We'll say bridge again. Bridge. Bridge. go through and make these their own poly groups so that I can merge them together. Oh, yellow. I love yellow. <laughs> okay, get that softened out. Whoops, that got messy. Sure that we're getting good, uh, good symmetry through here. It's just a matter of like grabbing that, pulling that out. Let's let's grab this uh, center line here because this center line is getting a little bit too uh, cheeky. <laughs> make it so that it's not entirely a crease <laughs> running down the middle of her backside. And 
let's go ahead and kind of fix this edge a little bit. Pull that down and in, pull this down and in. Pull this around. I want these to feel like they match up a little bit better. So like it's just, this is getting a little bit bent. So I'm just going to go ahead and kind of straighten out that edge transition here straighten that out straighten that out and it'll have a little bit of bowing when it's uh, uh, when it's coming out this way um, until you get to this point where it's going to start caving in a little bit more because of you know just the way that it fits around the anatomy um, so we'll get some of that Try to make sure this line is nice and smooth. I think we need to we need to also kind of space these out just a little bit. It's kind of nice having the music in the background because then I don't have to worry about like if there's a lull in my conversation <laughs> I don't have to worry about being uh, about it being too quiet you know about it being too boring every once in a while you get just kind of sucked into the moment and you're just present in the moment you're just plugging away just working and you forget that you have people that you're trying to talk to. <laughs> Let's try to get that line to go nice over that hip. Okay. <clears throat> I'm going to turn on uh, dynamic stuff so that I can... Contains four out-of-bounds UV coordinates. Okay. <laughs> Let's go over to UV Master. We'll just say... Uh, sorry, not UV Master. Down here to um, UV Map. And we'll say delete UVs. They don't need UVs at the moment. Okay. Now we can go back in... Let's add a little bit of thickness to this so that it's 0 0.01, something like that. Offset, full 100. Uh, now I, I do notice that I'm getting like a little bit of like an off setting here on the uh, on the top edge, so I just gotta play with that, make sure that that's working right. Get this high waist up. I feel like it would have like a little bit of a dip here in the back and a little bit of an up here on the sides. Um, and then a little bit of a dip in the front. Maybe not a ton. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm totally wrong. Maybe I need to... It's like the hard thing, it, it looks like it's maybe a little bit straighter, like not... Here 
or a little bit more even. Okay, let's say, oh, do we have, we, we do have like extra polygroups in there. Oh, cool, polygroup that kind of matches the color of the thing. That's great. Okay, let's say, um, crease. Say crease PG so we get the outside edge creased. Some of this kind of trued up so that it looks a little bit cleaner, a little bit nicer. Next week, what we're going to have to do is play around with some of the dynamics um, to be able to get like her. Uh, and, and granted, you know, some of the, you know, getting her uh, her throw over uh, on there. I think that that's going to take a little bit more of. Um, <laughs> playing the part of <laughs> do these make my butt look yeah that's kind of exactly that the music make it seem like you're working faster than normal <laughs> maybe I am um, Go ahead and pull that out so that it's more on top of her skin instead of going into her skin because that would hurt. <laughs> Don't want to dig it in too much. Even though that's a very common complaint. <laughs> I won't be on next Saturday. That's true. That's true. Yeah, I have off next Saturday. I think it'll be maybe the... First. So that makes it the seventh, is that right? Um, that's a good point. That's a good point, Doug. I appreciate that. <laughs> let's go ahead and let's do something like this. We'll grab those three, invert it, modify topology, delete hidden, boom. We'll grab this edge. Oops. This edge. <laughs> Let me see. Oh my goodness. Yeah, we're coming up on finishing up this stream. This is, uh, we've been on for a couple hours now. I don't know, is there anybody else on the schedule for today? I don't think there is. I'm just gonna go ahead and pull this up. Pixelogic Community ZBrush Live. Oh, it's snowing, oh, it's snowing, it's snowing, little ZBrush running men. It is, it is raining the man. <laughs> I like how it's got like the uh, the chat off to the side. It's pretty nice. Um, preparing your stream. But I'm I'm here. I'm here. What what do you mean you're preparing the stream? Calendar. Yeah. So the next streamer isn't until tomorrow. So I don't have to feel too too rushed. Um, yeah, that's the life. That's, yeah, you're right. You are right. I'm going to go ahead and insert an edge loop right there. Select it. Oh, there we go. And then you control click and drag to be able to make more of that strap. And then we can kind of like shrink it down so that it gets a little bit more of a taper as it comes in. And 
I'm trying to think. Local symmetry, boom, something like that. Say delete hidden. Okay, so now we just have to worry about adding in enough loops to make sure that we can, um, let's say, keep polygroup. Okay, so now here's what we're gonna do to be able to make sure that this is working right. Let's go ahead and mask out that edge loop right there. Yeah, I I would normally be be uh, uh, be streaming at eight. <laughs> Today I woke up late, <laughs> so yeah, that's uh, that's my bad. I apologize, Leonard. <laughs> Let's project that geometry. We're going to say project all. Boom. So there we go. Now we got that strap, and it's kind of matching up. Um, it's not the best shape, so let's go ahead and clean it up. In fact, I think I kind of want to get this so that it has almost a little bit more of like a... More of a down curve overall to it. So uh, just, a, just a little bit of context uh, for everybody. I teach, uh, I teach late night class uh, at Noman uh, <laughs> on Friday nights, which is a choice <laughs> um, as a friend. So, so uh, lovingly uh, <laughs> explained to me. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's a choice. Um, and then, uh, and then I chose also to, to stream earlier on a Saturday morning, again, a choice. <laughs> so it's, this is kind of a funny, uh, a funny thing. Yeah, you, 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 you choose what you do. Um, in this case, it's, I mean, this is a hobby. This is something that's a for fun thing. So it's, you know, it's not like I'm late for work or anything like that. So that's nice. <laughs> Okay, I want to say uncrease all, and now we can say crease PG dynamic. We'll turn dynamic on. One thing I do want to have is a support edge over on this side, because what I'm getting, oh no, not the multiple single, please. What I'm getting is, is like you can see how it's it's controlling the sharpness of that corner. Uh, so I'm going to put one up there. We'll go ahead and we'll put one up top in here we'll put one down in the bottom in here and so now we've got these nice sharper edges even though we've got the nice round sort of shape um, I think with this piece I kind of want to play with some color here um, so what I'm going to do okay I did have a move brush let's go ahead and pull, pull this over a little bit pull this over a little bit with the, with the wire, I'm going to make sure that this is proud of the strap because I feel like that'll help it to feel more like it's like it's all connected. Um, yeah, just getting like a little bit of a separation actually helps it to feel like it's separate pieces connected together, um, which is kind of fun. Okay, so we got this. I want... I want to play with getting maybe a lighter color in here. 
So instead of having this this taupe color, I want to see if maybe like getting something like this RGB color fill object. Color fill object. No, I'm not liking that. Something like that. We'll, we'll keep it like that for now. Maybe what we can do is we can eventually put like a like a lacy strap over the top. That could be cool. In fact, purely for the sake of getting it started, let's go ahead and I'm going to use. I have this special strap brush or this simple curve brush that I've uh, that I've made for myself. Um, and turn that Z intensity down pretty low, but like not that low. Let's let's put it like 30%, something like that. Okay, just kind of bring this over, bring this down. The reason I made my own you might you might look at this and be like, that looks just like the uh curve strap brush or whatever, and, <laughs> and you'd be right. Um, it's very similar with the difference being that mine has a clean end. Um, so you look at the end here, you see this is just a square. Um, you're working on stuff in the garage at 5 a.m. Like you were up until 5 a.m.? Good golly. <laughs> Good golly, Leonard. <laughs> okay. Expand this out, hold control once you select the curve, and you can make it make it rotate. It's kind of kind of neat. I really like it. Okay, so that looks pretty good. I can I can fix anything else that I need to. Feels like this is going in really really close to the center. Okay, let's let's go ahead and let's do this. I'm going to say split. We'll say split masked. Why not? Bra strap. Uh, bra band. I almost said bra brand, and it's like that's not quite right. <laughs> bra wire. Bra cup. Okay, so this way we have things labeled. Um, where do we have this one sitting at right now? Okay, it's still up in the body section, so let's get it down here. Panties. <laughs> Keeping it simple, right? Bra brand. Bra. <laughs> I did it. <laughs> Good golly. Yes, I'm just gonna kind of thin this out, I think. Maybe I'll thin out the whole thing. It's really thick at the moment. I need it to definitely thin out some, but we can we can do that. Um, in a few moments after we've kind of situated it a little bit better. Hey Diego, what are your thoughts on IA? I have no idea what IA is. Women's lingerie used to dictate the color of cars. That's interesting. Thoughts on Iowa? They be they belong in the Midwest, I guess. You know they. Uh, oh, internal affairs. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah, which is it? <laughs> AI. <laughs> um, I've already I've already gone through kind of a spiel on on that um, <laughs> twice now actually. <laughs> um, yeah, I feel like it's. We shouldn't be afraid of it because it's not going to take the place of real people. Um, there will be tasks that it will replace um, that 
you know, we don't, <laughs> that just kind of slow us down as artists. So things like in production, it'll take the place of things like, um, like stereo camera plan planning. It'll take the place of rotoscoping, those sorts of things. Things that take weeks that can, you know, really free up an artist to, to be an artist. Like ZBrush does the same sort of stuff. Um, there is a lot that, you know, like like Z Remesher. Z Remesher is a form of AI. Um, it goes through, it reads the surface that you've input it, and then it uh, and then it kicks something else out. Um, so I mean, we're we're already living in the future. We're just we just need to get AI to a point that it's not ripping off other people's art. And that's that's something that I would encourage people to do. Don't be afraid of AI, but don't support the fact that it's going through and it's ripping off everybody else's artwork. <laughs> so uh, that's 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 my that's my stance to make it like short and sweet, I guess. Um, because I do, I feel like at some point it's going to become a tool in my in my tool belt um, for some task. Um, I already use Z Remesher, so that's one way. Um, Anything that's procedural is a form of AI. It's going through and creating randomization based on parameters. Um, but yeah, uh, and you think about like uh, you think about like the uh, 3D scanner, uh, the 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 Russian 3D scanner tool. The it's a retopology tool where you can essentially take. A mesh that you've sculpted, you can take topology that you have prepped that's all clean and ready to go for production, and you can dictate where points go, and it'll it'll remesh that that topology, kind of fit it over the top of the uh, on top of the sculpt or the other mesh, and it's it's amazing. It's a really really cool tool. So I mean, there are things that we already have and that we're already using that are AI. Um, but I asked, uh, I asked the head of Marvel about it. <laughs> uh, we had the Holy Trinity in a town hall, and I asked them about what their view and what their plans for AI uh, are for the future. And they said it'll never replace an artist, but if it uh, if it can go through and make certain tasks easier, quicker that you know we don't want to be doing <laughs> then they said they're all for that so they specifically mentioned things like like stereo um, stereo camera work uh, they talked about um, rotoscoping you know so th these are tasks that nobody wants to do <laughs> um, you know, everybody wants to be doing, you know, if, if you're a film editor, you don't want to be doing the rotoscoping. You don't want to be doing, <laughs> um, you know, same thing if you're like camera grip, you don't want to be doing and blocking things out in the, in the roto you want to, or, or trying to figure out the stereo yourself and painting your own stereo maps. You know, it's, it's something that, yeah, R3DS, yeah, it's a really great tool. But yeah, it's one of those things that, you know, we just, we, we can't get so caught up in the fact that, oh, it's a computer doing a job that a person can be doing. It's it's more a fact of like, you know, get get to the point where, um, where you yourself are as competent as you can be as an artist. And then, um, And then uh, be ready for when the tools come available. I mean, it's like, uh, it's like, uh, oh, Leonard, Leonard, you you are a great example where you are uh, by trade a traditional sculptor. Um, yeah, Leonard is a friend of mine from uh, from from Imagineering, and a lot of the people that that we knew at Imagineering had these backgrounds as traditional sculptors but Leonard is a good example of somebody who as a traditional sculptor saw 
the technology of ZBrush coming through and started adapting it into his workflow at Imagineering. And, uh, and that was, you know, that's, that's perfect. That's great. It's such a great way to be able to <laughs> kind of stay ahead of, um, kind of stay ahead of your career, you know, um, kept, kept himself relevant. And, and I feel like those sorts of things are insanely important. So, so with the emergence of AI, um, I'd say, I'd say keep an eye on it, keep developing yourself, but when it becomes a tool that, that no longer relies on pirating other people's work <laughs> for the sake of creating something new and creative, um, that's when I would say jump on it. But until then, it's going to be resampling and reworking, uh, like pirating other people's artwork. I would say don't support that. Um, wait until it's something that's its own standalone tool. Because that's something that, that super definitely drives me nuts, is how... Is how these things tend to take advantage of an artist and and there's there's like no remorse there's no accountability there's no there's nothing <laughs> just excuses let's come in here and say poly groups auto groups Yeah, it's like everybody's there there's there's so much out there and uh, you know there's some really great stuff coming out of the mid journey stuff and all those other uh, AI apps that people are, are using it looks really really cool but it is using um, it is using other people's work to be able to create that. It's not using their own body of work. It's not using their own input of, of imagery. It's, you know, so so it is, it's it's piracy. You know, you get the same issues with uh, with music. If somebody's going through and resampling music, you know, it's, that's, that's why we have to go through and find creative uh, ways and, and non, uh, what's it called? Non copyright uh music sources for <laughs> for streaming <laughs> uh, because otherwise you know we run into copyright issues we run into oh shoot uh, we run into issues where um, streams get taken down and you know all sorts of things like that right so it's a matter of making the tool something that's internal only to where it's not ripping off other people's work, other people's hard work. Cause that's just, it's just not right. I would say definitely keep your eye on it, but don't be afraid of it. Um, and and definitely don't be supporting the uh, <laughs> the aspects of it that are not uh, that are just not not ethical. It's like going to the zoo and and picking out a whole bunch of animals for your own menagerie, <laughs> taking them home with you. Like they don't belong with you. <laughs> I 
define ethical. If you're taking something that belongs to somebody else, that's unethical. So that's just simple. It's just simple. You should have learned that like from little, 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 little. If nobody's taught you that yet, then I'm sorry. We're here to teach you. Um, if it's not yours, don't take it. Yeah, AI will never make us completely obsolete. There's so artificial intelligence, that's it's just that, it's artificial. Um, it can't, you know, art is expressive and it's, it's about expressing emotions and regardless of how prominent a tool may get in the industry, human expression is what drives somebody connecting with something and so you know and and granted we go through and we attach emotion we attach meaning we attach um yeah we we, we attach so much to, to what it is that we that we consume you know i feel like i feel like it's important for us to be aware that we, you know, we don't have to worry about somebody else coming through and taking what's ours, except for the fact that somebody's coming through and taking what's ours. <laughs> it's like, you know what I mean? It's I would say I'm preaching to the choir, but I'm not. It's uh, it's one of those things that you know, not everybody's going to think and feel and believe the way that you think and feel and believe, and that's just kind of part of life. try to add a little bit more depth to her eyes. I don't know yet if I want her eyes to be blue or if maybe I want them to be hazel. I kind of like the idea. I, I love hazel. Like that's a, that's kind of a fun color for eyes. So I don't know. Maybe let's try to let's try to go through here. Let's let's see if we can get a good a uh, good uh, hazel color. But I feel like just because like I don't know. It's like a Marilyn Monroe. magazine cover something kind of like that bring the saturation down I like that. I like that color a lot better. Let's kind of pull that over and down a little bit, maybe. Let's 
See, that's feeling good. I like I like that. I like how that looks. I like how that feels. That's that'll be cool. I'm not entirely sure now that like doing something like this. Um like how this will fit in with I, li I like that auburn hair color, but I think we're, we're probably going to try to stick with like that. I don't know. We'll just do. We'll, we'll do a Maryland updo and uh, call it. Not sure. Um, yeah. <laughs> Billionaires have the same traits as serial killers. That's so sad. <laughs> Thank you, Mushy Mushy. <laughs> it's it's nice to be back. It's uh it's it's always like I like I like streaming. <laughs> yeah, it's 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 a fun thing for me. Where are we at? Okay, so we're at the eyes. The eyes don't have any Okay, great. Control shift D. these down <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and center that and I'm going to say let's grab I know it looks really creepy right now but it'll look less creepy in a second <laughs> just kind of want to give her some uh, some nice pearls That's pretty nice. I don't know if the uh, if the actual character is supposed to have pearls or anything like that, but uh, but I like I like the addition of the pearls. I feel like it helps her to feel a little bit more uh, a little bit classier. keep that ooh to myself I'm uh, I'm not entirely sure about what to do with it so I'm going to yeah I'm just gonna keep it to myself oh gosh thought I had my move brush on <laughs> okay so right now her stomach has, uh, I, I, need, I need to call it a day I need to call it a day we need to Her body feels like it's kind of like tilted back a little bit. I don't like that. Just those pieces here. I'm just gonna kind of rotate that body out, pull it forward a little bit. It's like that feels that feels much nicer now. out some I don't know it's kind of playing with stuff right but yeah I do feel like I do feel like something needs to change with her torso and it might be a matter of uh, going through and kind of making some changes like doing some drawovers or something to figure stuff out but we'll have to see we'll figure it out that's what this stuff's all about, right? It's all about figuring it out. <laughs> it 
time to save. That's a good point. <laughs> Did the hairstyle on Leota and the crystal ball in Haunted Mansion. It gave her Anne Margaret styled hair. Okay. Rotating the eyes in unison. So eyes are kind of uh, kind of interesting. Uh, let's let's do that real quick, and then I'll call it a day. I think. Um, so let's turn off turn off all masking. Make sure that this is centered in the eyeball. So I mean, if I were to go through and rotate the eyes, you see, I mean, they're doing this mirrored symmetry thing, which, you know, can be a good thing, can be a bad thing, right? Um, it's not what I want, though. So if I, if I wanted to be able to pose the eyes, I could come up here to transform, and I could turn off this mirror symmetry, and now I can go ahead and I can, I can start to move the eyes in this sort of way. Okay, really, really cool. It's a simple thing but it's so, so powerful. I need to fix that real quick because that's going to be bothersome if I don't. And maybe it's a matter of not necessarily going through and changing the shape of the eyelids, but adding thickness to the eyelashes and making them kind of fill in the gaps. I don't know, we'll, we'll have to see. That's kind of something that we're, we're doing with our characters at work is for the sake of being able to retain kind of a, a super strong graphic shape with the eyes, is that we have the eyelashes kind of forming that strong, strong, uh... <laughs> yeah, it's a really interesting trick. Uh, that mirror symmetry toggle, it's, it's it's weird. It's weird, but that's one case where I feel like it's insanely useful. Um, and so, like, I'll use it. I'll use it for example uh, when I'm trying to go ahead and start posing my character. I always do the character's face first um, because then I can take all the advantage of all the symmetry, get the pose and the face as, as symmetrically as possible, and then uh, you know, pose the eyes however I feel like I want to do it. And then I'll, uh, and then I'll go ahead and I'll uh, break symmetry and kind of start, you know, adding in like, you know, snarl bits or whatever. Um, it's AI. Oh, no. <laughs> um, yeah, it's uh, yeah, it's 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 fun business. But yeah, sometimes, granted, like it's not the end all be all. Like if I go through and I. Uh, rotate those eyes and I decide later on that I feel like it's not quite right after I've posed my character I can still go through and like do the eyes posed and posing them like one at a time um, and I do that a lot and that's fine you know it's, it's just kind of part of the part of the process okay so we've done a lot today I'm going to here let me see get these boots make sure that they are together so that way I can okay good okay make sure that they are completely like one sub tool um, I want to do with this what I did with the other thing because like remember how earlier with the body I had put it so that it was on the ground I want to do the same thing with this. I'm going to say uh, macro. This is underneath macro. And underneath these macros in here, there's this uh, snap to ground. So snap to ground. I guess it's it's already snapped to ground then. So maybe it's just that the, uh, the character is not on the ground anymore. Um, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to... Hopefully I don't have anything masked because I don't want anything masked. Um, let's go ahead and bring this down. Let's make sure that those feet are fitting into the shoe now. OK. 
cool. And you know, granted, I'll go ahead and I'll I'll make a new shoe, but this will be a good stand-in for now. Maybe those shoes need to be something maybe darker. I don't know. Let's see. That's kind of cool. We'll keep that for now. <clears throat> All right. <laughs> I think that that's what we're going to do for today. Um, let's get back to this body and up res her so that she looks nice and purty. And then uh, let's go ahead and let's add another subdivision level for this so that it's got you know a little bit smoother of a of a shape. And we'll call it good. Yes. So far, I'm really liking how this character is looking. She's uh, she's definitely come a long way since we started her on the beginning of the day. Um, it's been three hours of fun. So uh, let's go uh, let's go have some fun with this later. Uh, I have no idea when I'll jump back on again. Uh, my next ZBrush live stream, I believe, I haven't booked again until the beginning of uh, the beginning of the year. So the first uh, the first weekend in January. Let me see if I can get a date for you guys here. Yeah, it should be the seventh. Um, yeah, because the 31st and the 24th I have off, so we're going to call this good. Happy New Year, guys. I hope you guys have a wonderful, safe uh, New Year. Uh, hope you get to spend time with family. Hope you get time off work, time to relax, time to, <laughs> time to do something. Um, since it is a new year, if you're into uh, New Year's resolutions and trying to uh you know do those sorts of things for yourself you know i hope i hope you're already thinking about kind of uh goals and ways that you want to be able to improve uh ways that you want to set yourself up for the future and uh yeah gosh this uh it's a great time it's a great time to be thinking about uh thinking about the better you so uh hope you guys have a great week great great end of the year <laughs> if i jump onto my personal stream at some point in the next you know few weeks uh be be ready to follow that uh you'll see down in the bottom corner uh down there is my username you can find me on any platform twitch youtube uh instagram is is the uh is the uh the easiest place to find me <laughs> um but yeah See, uh, I feel bad and imperfection in the beginning when I'm sculpting. Feels better and better when adding details. Sometimes lose faith. Uh, you're definitely not the only one that feels that way, and it definitely takes some time. Like, <laughs> if you go and compare uh, the way that this character looked at the beginning of the stream versus now. In fact, I Let's see what do we have. I'm going to say. Let's 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 hit save before I try to undo, because <laughs> um, we have like all these undos here, and I, uh, granted I won't get. <sighs> she looks so much better with the with the face stuff and everything too. So let's see. Let's go ahead and say Shift S, just to be able to show. I mean, she won't look the same because she won't have the uh, eyes and everything in place. But I mean, you can see like there's there's a huge difference to how she looks, and I feel like she's definitely gotten much more appealing since we started today. She feels like she has like some some actual person features, and that's that's kind of what I what I like to shoot for. <laughs> she looks like she could be more of a, an actual person rather than a than just a simple character. But yeah. Anyway. Cool. That's where we'll leave it. <laughs> Peace out, guys. Have the best New Year's, and I'll see you when I see you. Smartest out.